No, be quiet. I'm filming. Right now? Yes. It's recording, so Good. if you don't want your voice heard again, shut your mouth. You got something to say? Exactly. No. Hello, my little champ. I'm looking at Frank right now. Because he wasn't fun of me. I'm I'm gonna migrate to the office anyways. Let's do your thing, alright? Ooh, I look very in this shirt. Hello my little shamrocks and welcome back to my kitchen. Today is a very exciting video because it's finally September, which is almost my favorite season because it's like 80 degrees outside right now so it's not really fall yet but it's like on the cusp of being fall so I thought we'd get the fall season started by making my favorite donuts which are sour cream glazed donuts they're really easy yeah let's uh let's get right into it boom 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 Hey my little Shamrocks, voiceover Kirsten here. So we're gonna start off by putting two and a quarter cups or 255 grams of cake flour into a bowl. And we're gonna add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of nutmeg. And we're gonna give it a nice little whisk and set it off to the side. Next in a stand mixer fitted with a paddle attachment, you're gonna add half a cup of sugar and two tablespoons of room temperature butter. You're gonna mix those together until it becomes kind of sandy-like. Next you're going to add in two egg yolks and beat the mixture until it starts to turn pale. Starting with sour cream, you're going to alternate between sour cream and dry ingredients. You want to mix the dough until it's just incorporated. You don't want to overmix it because the dough will be too tough. If your dough is too sticky, add a tablespoon of flour at a time until it reaches the right consistency. Once your dough is thoroughly mixed together, you want to cover it and stick it in the fridge for at least an hour. Thank you. 
Now to cut your dough into donut shape, roll your chilled dough out onto a lightly floured surface and roll to To cut donut shapes, you can use a donut cutter like I got, which I got at Hobby Lobby, or you could just use two different size biscuit cutters. After you have your donuts cut out, you're going to want to heat up canola oil on the stove to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Slowly add your donuts and fry on one side for two minutes, flipping over and frying again. You're going to want to let them cool off before you glaze them, so set them on a cooling rack with a sheet pan underneath so when you glaze them, the glaze can drip down to the pan and you won't have a gigantic mess on your table. All I did for the glaze was mix powdered sugar, corn syrup, water, and a little bit of vanilla, and whisk it together in a bowl until I reached the right consistency. Let the excess glaze drip off before serving and eating, and then you have the most delicious donuts you have ever eaten in your entire life.
party. Boom, 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 boom.